broke my programming line. Hold on. Oh, I have a question, Monster Man. I want to design a laser file for a box and don't know where to start. Um, hold, please. Like electronics boxes or hinges or keypads, etc., etc., etc. That one's probably the better one for you if you're trying to do something weird. Um, can sculpt though and make flat packaging meshes. Well, the nice thing is, is a the three D modeling only laser cutters. You have basically the design files right there, right? It's a DXF or SVG or something of that nature, which is already in itself editable. So if there's something that has what you want, that's kind of close, make it happen. Um, <clears throat> my big suggestion... Could be a chip fault, but I try not to blame the components because they tend to be more reliable than me. So... Absolutely easy. And so long as I don't have to do it through QMK, I think I'll actually do okay. <clears throat> it needs to be as complex as that pin. Oops, I'm short there. The next likely uh, candidate is that the chip itself is holding it under reset because of some error state. Um... That's nice. That's always what you want. Ugh. That's irritating. Okay. Let's put this back in the frame then and like 40 gauge if I remember correctly it's silly silly thin and using it without magnification is possible but it's difficult <laughs> after after our rant last week Is that marginally better I think does look like it's a bit out of focus though. Okay, that thought got attached nicely. Tiny, tiny wire, right? I think this is something, nothing wrong with that. Laser is awesome in that way because it, it's harder to do that with CAD files because for like 3D printing rather, because usually you get STLs, which are kind of like a picture of the outside of the model and you have no other information and it's an approximation, a triangular net wrapped around that object. But with out of the frame, holding it here.
this if I do that. Connected to that pin right there. Which you can't really see much, but I swear it's there. Alright. Fine. The board's still nice and secure, so. Let's unplug our programming header because now and uh, 3D model the thing with your material thickness because especially if you're going to do boxes you tend to use finger joints or bolt joints or anything like that where your material thickness makes a big difference. If you got a quarter inch thick material and your fingers only overlap by an eighth of an inch then obviously you're going to I just should probably check for that short before I go at everything. Um, I don't know if maybe you missed my question or you're an idiot. Uh, did I miss a question from you? I'm going to work with this stuff again. You know, I had this spool for years and didn't use it at all. It was one of those things I bought and I told myself, oh, it'll be useful eventually. And then like, eh, it probably won't be. I probably won't need it, and now I end up with really weird, wonky-looking edges. But, um, yeah, Maker Case is uh, one of a couple of different options. <clears throat> but um, there's a couple of really fun tools for that. Um, and there was another one. Let me see if I can... It's, like, the most fundamental thing I have for this project. Which is a little silly, but sometimes that's just how it goes. Sorry for blocking your view. Okay. So we need to take one of these very very tiny wires and would be because like there's kind of the two ways that you can go about doing laser cut files right there is the version where you go into something like inkscape or whatever and you draw it as a flat pattern and then in your head you try and put all your pieces together and make sure they work or what you could do is go into a 3d modeling software some kind of cad package This one, I think, was the one. The other one. This one's Python based, but yeah, that one allows you to actually do really complicated shapes. Um, not much I can do about that though. Turn it like this. Maybe that'll help. some filters on this guy and make it look a little bit better. There, there, so I will say there is no
<clears throat> I assume a Dexcom G7 is probably like a constant glucose monitor, would be my guess, given our constant uh, fusion reactor is the next step. Yeah, glucose monitor, I thought so. <clears throat> fusion reactor is the next step. Yeah, I mean, obvious.